Hey everybody, it's Jonathan. Today I want to walk you through how simple it is to begin setting up a custom GPT inside of ChatGPT. There's a lot of different ways to do it. For those of you that are wondering, a custom GPT is literally just an opportunity where we take ChatGPT and train it on our own data so that it can use that data as it replies. So super simple. We're going to go over to the side menu here. I'm going to open up that sidebar. We're going to click on Explore GPTs. And when we do, you're going to see now over here on the right, we have a Create button. We're just going to click on Create. And this is where it gets super, super easy. Let me move my picture over to the side here. AI, or in this case, ChatGPT is literally going to walk you through exactly what you need to do in order to set up this custom GPT. So you can see the first thing here they're asking you is, what do you want this to make? What do you want to make here? What do you want this custom GPT to do? Let's say that I was creating one to use my personality profile to create engaging social media posts, and I didn't want to keep putting in my personality profile information. So what do I want it to make? I want to make I want a custom GPT that will write viral social media posts using my personality, tone, and style. Real simple. Just answer the question. ChatGP is going to continue on. The next thing it's going to want to do is it's going to try to name and create a graphic for you here. And we'll walk through that process so you can see this. This will take just a couple of minutes to get set up. And then you'll see at the end, we've got a great tool that we'll be able to use on a repeated basis without having to constantly update and upload new data all the time. So how about viral post create? That's great. We'll take its name. I'm fine with that. You might want to name it after yourself in this case because we're going to give it both some viral post information, but also we're going to give it some information on our personality using the self-scribe tool. So let's take a look here a minute as it creates a picture. Uh, it likes to create an icon. I'm going to accept whatever it is. That looks great. Notice I don't have to do a lot here. I'm just kind of following along as it goes ahead and tells where we're going. So what should be emphasized or avoided in social media posts? So this is where we're going to get into the meat of it. I want to create social media posts based on the topic that I provide in my prompt. You should always follow this viral post, or let's say these viral post guidelines. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in some viral post guidelines that I have that I've put together over time. Let me go ahead and grab those real quick. And you should always write using my personal tone and style. And I'm also going to paste that in. I have that saved up here a minute. If applicable and about my company, Whitebeard Strategies, also follow my brand tone and style which again I'm going to paste in. I have this. Some of you may be familiar. I do self-scribe. That's where I came up with this code here for my personality. And then I also use brand scribe, which does my branding information. So we're just going to save that. It's going to go ahead and save all this information. And now the beauty is it's going to have this every time I ask it to write a social media post. So it'll make that process much, much easier. We're going to go ahead and just let everything update here a minute. And then we're going to go ahead and try it move my picture over here. We're going to try it by testing it out here on the right hand side. We have to wait for it to update though before we do that. So we're going to go ahead and write a sample post here uh, about the importance of details when you're writing uh, an AI prompt. So let's just wait here a minute as it updates. That's actually probably a bad topic. We want a viral post. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll write a post announcing this video. How's that? So I want to ask a couple more questions. Uh, I want a conversational and yet professional tone with some humor. All right, we're going to save that. 
There we go. And we'll give it just a minute here as it uh, evaluates things. Now, in theory, ChatGPT should have picked that up from what I put in place, but it probably hasn't fully analyzed that yet. Uh, and that's okay, so we'll continue to give it some of the same information uh, as we build this out. You will find occasionally as you're building out a custom GPT, it's not fully analyzing all that information at every step. It's taking a look at it, but some of it comes into play as we begin to use it. All right, it says, now what do we like to try it out and see if an adjustment. So let's try it out here. Please create a viral post using the training material to announce this video walkthrough of how to create a custom GPT in under six minutes because we're at five minutes and 57 seconds and it should now use my information there we go unlock the future of ai in under six minutes ever wondered how to create your own custom gpt while well, you're in luck we've just dropped a brand new video walkthrough that takes you from zero to ai hero in under six minutes yep you read that right just six minutes why can't you can't miss this? Simple steps, expert tips, innovative and fast. What you'll learn, setting up, customization, deployment. Watch now, insert video link. Pro tip, have a notepad ready. You'll want to jot down these gold nuggets of info. Got questions? Drop them in the comments or DM us. We're here to help you become the AI master you're meant to be. Join the AI revolution with Whitebeard Strategies. Pull that information. Like, share, and subscribe for more cutting edge stuff. Guys, that's not bad. We spent just a couple minutes and now we can give it any topic and we're going to be able to create really cool post. So let's go ahead and create this. We do want to click create up here and then we need to determine who gets access to this. Just you, anyone with the link, or do you want it on the GPT store? In most cases, in this case, because this is about me, my tone and style, I'm just going to leave this for me and my team and say anyone with the link. We'll wait just a moment as it saves. And just like that, and now we've got our, co our code, we can share that, and just like that, now we've got a custom GPT. I can access in the future anytime I want by just coming over here and looking here in the sidebar and finding whatever I'm looking for. There it is, my viral post creator. And if I need to go back in and edit it at any point in time, I just click over here, click on Edit GPT, and now I can go ahead and make edits or change anything I want. In this case, let's say I want to change the name to Jonathan's viral post creator. That way I know it's about me and not something I should be sharing with everybody. Let's go ahead and see that. It should take just a moment here. It's updated the name. You can see there it is updated right there. Instead, anybody the link and I just click here on update to save that update and again now I have this available for me to use anytime that I want or I can share it with anybody as well so just like that now I've got that GPT I can cl click it anytime I want let's say I'm in chat GPT here in the normal and I'll change my model here to 4.0 and if I want to access it I just go down on my GPTs here and click on Jonathan's viral post creator and just like that I've created a custom GPT to create social media posts using my tone my style my brand and making them viral in nature by giving it an outline of what a viral post should look like. If you've got questions, let me know in the comments. If you want more resources like this, please like and share this video, but go ahead and check out jonathanmass.com slash linktree as well. We've got more resources there. And don't forget, when you go to jonathanmass.com slash linktree, join our Facebook group. It's a free group, tons of value. We always post stuff like this in there. Make it a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.